So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover another amazing lab that is data publishing on BigQuery using authorized views and data sharing partners. So first of all, click on start lab and open the first data sharing console in incognito window. Basically here you have to use the data sharing credentials. So just enter it like this. Now enter the password. Now click on next. Now here click on I understand. And just if you get any kind of pop-up, just click on I agree and I agree and continue. Now, if you're new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. Click on I agree and I agree and continue. Now from the navigation menu, we have to open the BigQuery. So you don't have to activate the cloud shell. You have to open the BigQuery. So just on the search box, just click on it. And if it is not visible, you have to just type the BigQuery. Now, please pay attention to each and every steps as I do in this lab. Because if you miss a single thing, you won't be able to complete this lab. Now here, we have to click on Untitled Query. You can have two methods, like you can use this plus icon also to create a new query if it is not working. And if it, the page is not loading, just refresh it. Now copy from this to Lab Instructions to do your query console. Now click on Run and wait for it to get completed. So currently the query is being running. Now once it's completed, click on Save View. You have to just click on save and save view. Now for data set, it's already visible. Just select it. And for the table name, just copy the name carefully like this and just paste here. Now click on save. Now important thing is that you have to click on this plus icon. Do not run the query on the same query, basically on authorized view one. Now here we are creating authorized view B. Just run it and wait for it to get completed. So once the query is completed, it will stop moving. Now just click on save again, save view and just select the data set like you did before. Click on here and just select the demo data set. Now for the table name, it will be authorized view B. Copy carefully, make sure there is no extra space or dot, just click on save. Now once you have done this, you can check the score for this task. Now we have to assign the permissions to these two views. So just click on this demo data set and sharing. And here you can see authorized view. Click on it. Now just copy carefully. Copy carefully from here to here. And just paste over here. Now just select the A and click on add authorization. You can see here it is visible. Now similarly do for this one also basically it will before authorize view B. Now just select it and click on add. Now both the views are successfully added. You can click on close. Now just come to the view one, basically A and click on the share and add some permission here. Wait for the page to fully load. Basically sometimes it takes time. Click on add principle. Now you can check the score. Sometimes you may take, it may take time to update the score, so you need to wait for a few more minutes. Now copy the principle and we have to assign the BigQuery data viewer role. So just paste over here and from here just assign the role. If you are unable to find here, you can use the just search box to type the BigQuery data viewer. Now for view B, you have to just click on share again. And from here again, add this principle. Just copy it carefully. And just come over here and click on add principle. Now here just type this and again role will be BigQuery data viewer. Make sure you have selected like this. Now click on save and once all these things are done, you need to just come over here and check the score. Now it may take time to update the score so you need to wait for some time. Here we have to just wait and then we'll be verifying the shared authorized views. So first of all wait for this task to get completed. And let's wait to get the score first of all. So finally we got the score. Now here these steps are very important. So please pay attention to each and every step. Now here you can just close this window. Come back over here and just right click and open the console incognito window. Basically we are using customer A console. Now we have to use the username and password for customer A. Similarly for customer B also we will do these steps. So just please pay attention to each and every step as I am doing. Now enter the password like this and click on next. Now click on I now understand. Here, just click on I understand 
and here now console will be open now after that we'll be opening the big query just follow the step by step guide you will be able to complete this lab without any issue here just click on i agree and then click on agree and continue now from the navigation menu you can see over here you have to just select the big query okay you have to just select the big query and if it is not visible just type big query on the search box now wait for the page to fully load and here basically just we have to do something what we have to do let's explore it together now click on untitled query first of all you can see here customer data is available here now you can just open untitled query or just use the plus icon now paste the query and just run it it will take some time and we have to just save it to a table data set is created by default that is customer a data set okay so wait for the query to run completely now click on save save view select the data set from the drop down like this and just enter the table name and then click on save it will take some time and after that we have to run one more query that is this query so now just use this plus icon and paste the query and just run it okay you have to just run it and once you see query completed you can do just one thing basically just run this another query also basically this query is for b and we cannot access this in a section so what we have to do we have to open b console so first thing is that close this page again now again you can go to the top and open b console like this now here you have to enter the b credentials so you can see here b username and password just enter it and open the big query so just enter it okay please pay attention to each and every step and click on i understand and you'll be able to complete this lab now if in case you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe it and like the video do check the description box for other skill badges and labs and if you are interested in participating in other events do explore the learning opportunities playlist now click on i agree and agree and understand now from the navigation menu again open the big query i hope you have understood how we have to open the big query now you can just type also or you can just click like this now here basically we have to run another query and create similar view like we did in case a basically on table a now copy this query and run like this paste and run like this okay now once it is completed wait for few more seconds so finally it's completed now over here now just save the view select the data set from the drop down like this and for the table name you have to copy the table name like this so just copy the name carefully and just paste over here and click on save now once the table has been successfully saved what you need to do you need to just run another query like we did previously so you can use the plus icon also and run the query and once the query is completed you can try to check this so basically here customer a can access only customer a credentials and data sets while customer b can summary data set so now we have checked the score and we are done with this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you have a great